The state government has been forced to repay $4 million to drivers wrongly penalised by faulty speed cameras. A Seven News investigation has found 19,000 drivers copped in valid fines over the past three years because cameras don't work or warning signs were poorly displayed. This is Sydney's most notorious and expensive speed camera. In just two months, more than 5,000 drivers were wrongly fined while travelling on King George's Road at Beverly Hills. If we're going to have a system of cameras to help us enforce our speed limits, that's fine, but let's make sure they work. This one worked, but poor signage meant more than $850,000 had to be repaid. It's not the only costly camera. Documents obtained by Seven News show almost $4 million worth of fines have been repaid in less than three years. Speed cameras are meant to be there because of unsafe road situations. Yet what this is, is the government can't guarantee that the speed cameras are accurate. Other dodgy and expensive speed cameras were on Pitwater Road at North Narrabeen, Cleveland Street at Moore Park, the Sydney Harbour Tunnel and the Pacific Highway at Warunga. This will create doubt in motorists' mind about the accuracy of the speed camera system at a time when this state government's relying more and more on cameras. Fines are repaid if the car is stolen, involved in an emergency, or if there's not enough warning for drivers that they're approaching a speed trap. But experts say many are refunded because the camera is faulty. On average, every speed camera in New South Wales, in my opinion, has had some problem with its functionality. The government says only a small number of fines need to be repaid. It's a bit less than 1% and there's a range of, uh, of issues mixed in there. Lee Jellisek, 7 News.